It's gonna be the craziest thing the internet has ever seen. I swear to God, Wallahi, they're gonna make a Netflix documentary about this one day. That's how I'm coming. All 2024 and 2025 and 2026. I'm gonna try my best not to cry. <laughs> I've been under so much stress. I swear to God, watching Fuzi is like a roller coaster. You're happy for him that he made a comeback after all these years. It's wholesome. It's happy. It's sad. It gets annoying. It gets disturbing. He goes to the hospital. He makes a comeback. He's full of energy. You're happy for him. Next day, you hate him. The next, next day, you're laughing with him. Another day, next day, you're hating him. It's a full roller coaster. Fuzi is like a... B perfect way I can say it is a bipolar on steroids. At this point, I believe he's fooled the whole internet. He's just an attention hungry whore. You thought you were attention whore? You're not even compared to Fuzi 2. Now, the last time we talked about Fuzi, he had a mental breakdown for the seven, eight thousandth time during this past two years. And I kind of feel bad because of the video that he made. He said, I want to be Yusuf. I don't want to be Fuzi anymore. Just like my ex, she apologized for cheating on me. She said she will never do it again. She's a changed person. I believe there we got back together and I, I again. That you don't I have stood in here. You ain't shit. You ain't ever going to be yeah. shit. Yeah, because you ain't worth shit. Go work at Chuck E. Cheese. Fuck your bitch. Say it to my face, nigga. Now to speed you up with things, Fuzi decided to start up his... Apparently, it's a trend now. Everyone does a 30-day, 24-7 live stream. It pays off a lot. There's a lot of money involved in it as well, even though it is not good for your mental state. But fuck it. They want to do what they want to do, right? He did it last year as well. Shitting, eating, showering, shakalaka, boom, boom. Everything is going to be recorded. And in his word, they're going to make Netflix documentary about this. I am coming for all the streamers. I am the best of the best. Everyone together, East, West, Fuzi is the best. He went full ego mode with this whole thing. And if you're not aware of Fuzi in the past couple of days, he's been an absolute asshole. These mother that are on the internet right now make stop getting in the fucking face. These mother he's been on a marathon to fire as much as people as he can. Anyone he sees, he even fired Siri, his phone, for not getting him what he wants. Listen, you dumb. I fired six people in the last 24 hours. I already have two Samsungs, the best one that came out, and guess what? It's a hundred times better than you. The only reason I don't go to it is because it still has green text and you're blue. If you f up one more time today on my mother's heartbeat, I'm switching to Samsung. F you. I don't understand. Done, done. You're fired, bitch. Sorry, I don't understand. You are fired. God forbid if he sees this video as well, he's going to fire me in his head as well. This guy needs to be either locked up in a mental hospital until he recovers, or he needs to be, you know, put back in 2011. The only way he actually goes viral and the only, you know, videos I see on my feed on Twitter is when he crashes out because that is the only way people are going to just point at him and laugh. Like I said, he started his 30-day marathon and on day one, he got banned after he got into an altercation started throwing marshmallows at each other with the manager. And even though Fuzi has been trying to get a deal with Cake and he's been trying his best to prove himself, Cake saw this whole video and decided to shut out him with a ban. You, Joey, enjoy your time. This is the big leagues. You don't have to shake my hand. This is the big leagues. You try it out. You fail. Go home, work out with me on Sniper Panda or whatever Z-listers you worked with before me, and then come back when you're ready. You don't got it yet. Shake your head, say what you want to say. Don't go home in the plane mad. Oh, I wish I cussed him out. I wish I socked him in the face. You suck. I'm telling you that to your face, Paul. Okay. You have nothing to say? You don't want to defend your art? Your I, have, I have nothing to say to you other than I can't believe what? how disrespectful you've been to me. I can't believe how disrespectful you've been to my company live. Now, I don't know about you, but if someone says all these words and taps me on my shoulder, this is, this is the, the line. Taps me on the shoulder. Honestly, props to this manager for keeping his cool because he didn't say anything. He didn't do anything. This is like a road rage, right? 
you know, the person comes up next to you, donkey, look, Blink has used. And then you don't say anything. You look at them and you smile. Their asshole is going to boil. If you come close to them, you will feel the heat. You put your finger. Tss. The best thing to do in this situation is absolutely nothing. Even if, you know, he threw hands, Fuzis was going to get banned either way because this was being live streamed. But he didn't have to do anything because Fuzi was the one who threw the hand and he's the reason who got banned. And I think it is the time of the month for Fuzi as well, where every single thing annoys him. That's why he fired Siri and six other people. God forbid if you're 10 seconds, 5 seconds late to your job as a manager or as a cameraman. God forbid if... You know, you're supposed to shoot in 60 FPS, but you shoot it in 25. If you look at him the wrong way, he's going to flip on you and say, why am I bald? And he's going to fire you because he's bald. I don't care if I disrespect him. That's your problem to go home and go to the You don't have any yet. Are you, excuse me? You heard me. I, I did. Are you going to, like, what are you saying right now? That you I don't have stood a little in little your face while you spit on me and you refused to put your fucking hands on me. I spit on you? Yes, I you spit on, on my face. Listen, get the fuck out of my house. Say whatever you want to me to your z lister friends. You ain't shit. z friends. You ain't gonna be shit. z lister friends, motherfucker. You hung out with A-listers for one day and you got dropped. You ain't shit. You ain't ever gonna be shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it, bro. Hey, I played you for everything. 147 that love. What did you do? Hey, what are you doing? You're going to the mall to shop and going to the studio. You told me the Dean sucks and you got mad when I called you the Dean. Nigga, you said don't ever call me the Dean in your life. I'm not him. You're worse than the Dean. Okay, thank you. After grabbing suitcase or Adam? No, Adam grabbing suitcase. You get the f out of my house. What? Well, try to come to my face and I paid for with a job that was going to change your life. Yeah, because you ain't worth shit. Go work at Chuck E. Cheese. Now I'm gonna cut out the marshmallow part here because I need to pay rent. But basically, Fuzi went low volume. Shut up. Really? Something big? Say it to my face, I swear to God, Fuzi's reaction are my cats whenever I'm eating food, lunch, or dinner. I take a piece of chicken out, I go, pss, 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 and then once they come to eat it, I'm like, psych! I eat it myself. Come here, make me do not come at me in the comments below. I give them enough chicken breast and expensive ass cat food like I promised if you subscribe. I just like to fuck around with them sometimes. He's even worse than a toddler. A toddler knows how to behave better than this guy. He disappears from the internet because no one likes him because of his fake pranks back in the day. He comes out like Vitaly and he decided to, you know, make his life better. Gives everyone a whole speech. I'm, I'm not Fuzi anymore. I want to be Yusuf. I want to talk to you one on one. And then once, you know, a couple of people started saying, I love you, Fuzi. I am God. Th 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 that is exactly how he's acting as if he is God. He is the one who knocks. I walk past you, put your head down, do not look me in the eye. Bow down before Fuzi too. Just because a couple of brain farts on Kick started supporting him. And obviously with this behavior, Kick is trying to change. We talked about it multiple times. They're trying to make their platform more PG. So they decided to, with this altercation, they decided to give him a ban. And this was Fuzi's response. Not even. 48 hours into my 24 7 30 days and kick bans me and out of respect for my contract with them i can't go to twitch to continue i don't think they banned me because of the punch i think the industry and the people in the industry knows if we don't ban him and keep him quiet right now he's gonna expose all of us i get it y'all are scared I honestly think he thinks he's in a movie. Fuzi, expose what? That they, you know, have a gambling site, they money launder, they do all sorts of dirty shit, they have dirty money. No way! No way! I need to find out, Eddie, how long this band's gonna be. If you guys love me like you say you do, I expect an email explaining why I got banned and how long the length is. Just know, I'm not going anywhere. The second one banned me, I'm live again. And just know this, every second I'm not live, your platform's going to shit because you guys pay boring ass, not hard working motherfuckers to stream on it. I am kick. 
Now, what you saw over there was Fuzi. It, he changes between Fuzi and Yusuf multiple times, mainly whenever he loses everything, he becomes Yusuf. Whenever he gains a little bit, he starts becoming Fuzi, who is full of himself. I am kick. And shortly after that, he posted a video of himself crying because everyone left him because he fired them. Even his phone left him because, well, he fired his own phone. Look, I'm gonna try my best not to cry. <laughs> I've been under so much stress because I'm, I promised Eddie and Akil I wouldn't crash out like last year. <laughs> that my adrenaline shot up and I don't even remember the last like 48 hours now that I'm out of it. <laughs> and now that I calm down, I'm realizing all the destruction that I caused and this happens to me all the time. I'm not even gonna sit here and say sorry because, but like I'm trying to explain to y'all, like now that my adrenaline dumped and I'm back to Yusuf and I open Twitter and I see what Fousey did, I'm like, oh, I feel so much better now though. I feel free. I feel so free. I said this before and I'm gonna say it again for a 30 something year old man to sit in front of the camera and cry and say that wasn't me that was another person but i feel better now <laughs> he needs to get off the internet and do other things it is not for him he's had like 35 chances to you know make his comeback and every time he just crashes out because he needs help he shouldn't be in a mental hospital for a year he needs to live inside one until he gets better i would call him a donkey but that word has a lot of like meanings behind it it's a very valuable word that we use on this channel and he doesn't really deserve it and another reason i'm not gonna say it is he's been claiming that it is all over for him just in case he decides to all over himself i don't want to book my spot in hell but we all know he is a donkey anyways he went on on his own page and he posted it's not worth it anymore to be honest this is exactly how i get attention from social media whenever i want it i post the after gym pump picture and i expect you know the girls to come like damn nice smash but instead i only get guys coming up and saying oil up point of the story is this is just attention hungry stuff just two hours ago from making this video he posted retweet if i should stay off the internet yes fuzi stay off the internet i'm not saying because i dislike him you know i do dislike him because of the way he's treating people but i think it is also good for him as well so it's a win-win situation for everyone but anyways just wanted to update you with this whole thing happy halloween as well i hope you had a good time I was about to dress up and go, you know, ring bells and get candy as Ray Gun, you know, the the best Australian female break dancer. But I just ended up just sitting at home watching my series and just, you know, researching these YouTube videos. And in this new community that I'm living in, everyone is like foreign, so they're celebrating Halloween. And we had shit ton of kids coming up to the door ringing bell. Now. I don't have shit in the house, no candy, no nothing. And you know, once you don't have a decoration on the house, you don't come, but people keep coming. I am this close on buying a scary costume, no jokers, no scary monsters, but yeah, I mean, it is a scary monster. I'm about to dress up as Diddy. I am this close on dressing up as Diddy and whoever rings the bell from now on, put Diddy music on the background, open it with sunglasses on and spray baby oil on everyone. But anyways, Fucking out. Speak of the devil. Wait, we are back. Someone's by the door. <sighs>